that is the formula that you have to apply while learning English and while doing your practice tasks in English. So apply this particular formula of CC. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English, developing your fluency and communication skills. Well, today I'm going to tell you a fluency formula that is going to be extremely helpful for all of you. A fluency formula, an English speaking fluency formula. Now, this is a formula that is not only restricted to English, but it's a universal language formula. Whether you learn French, whether you learn Spanish, whether you learn English, doesn't matter. It's a formula that is going to work. So, it's going to be extremely important to watch this video till the end because this is a universal language formula and we are going to apply it to our target language that is English. Are you ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and communication coach certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And before beginning, please subscribe the channel so that you do not miss out on any video lesson. Also like the video and share it with your friends too. Okay, coming to the secret formula, the English fluency formula. Well, I call this CC formula or the 2C formula. So CC, you can call it a rule, you can call it a formula, you can call it a strategy, whatever you want. But this is something that you have to keep in mind while you take up any task in English. For example, you're learning English, you're improving English, you're doing your practice of listening, reading, speaking, writing. Whatever you're doing, this is the formula you have to apply at the time of doing any task related to English learning and English speaking fluency. Okay, so that is why it's important. Now, what is this 2C formula, 2C rule or the CC rule? Now, as it suggests CC rule, each C stands for something. The first C stands for consumption and the second C stands for creation so it's a rule of consumption and creation of what of content in your target language and our target language is english we want to become fluent in english speaking so our target language is english that means consumption of content in english language and then creation of content in english language and it's very important to master the proportion in which you need to take up these two particular tasks. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. But what happens is people are not aware what to consume and how much to consume, what to create and how much to create. That is the main target. That is something that you need to ace because this is important. Once these proportions, they distort you face all the problems related to fluency and you get frustrated because that fluency that you want to reach, it's near, but you're not able to reach it. That's the problem which this particular issue creates. Now, what I will tell you is how to consume content, how to create content and in what proportion. So let's begin with the first C that is consumption. Consumption. When we talk about consumption, it's very important. See any language. Any language in this world is made up of two processes, the consumption of content and then the creation of content. So a language acquisition, any language learning or speaking any language is a combination of these two C's, the consumption and creation. It's a combination of these two. Now suppose, let's look at your native language, right? You're talking about native language. Suppose we're talking about that. How you started learning that? First, you were consuming the content through listening. As a child, you listen to it a lot. As an infant, you start listening to whatever your parents were speaking around you, your siblings, your family, whatever they were speaking, you were listening to it. So subconsciously, that content was getting to your head. It was getting to your head. So that's the importance of consumption. The first C, consumption, is very important. A lot of times people neglect it altogether. They think that only speaking, speaking, speaking is required. If I speak more, if I speak too much, I will become fluent in English. But the thing is that appropriate proportion of this consumption and creation, 
that is listening reading speaking writing is important so the first c is actually the consumption is actually your reading and your listening skills through these two skills you consume content in english and it's very important for you to consume quality content in english because until and unless you do not consume something how are you going to create it what are you going to speak now the c number 2 c number 2 second c is your creation what is creation again two skills your speaking is creation and writing is creation when you speak you create content in english your own content you think about that content and then you speak you're creating content in english when you write something you are again creating content in english so that's your second c speaking and writing now what a lot of times people do is now this is something that you have to pay attention towards that's very important a lot of times people think that only creation is important if i create more i'll become fluent in english that's a myth consumption and creation are equally important and if you are in the beginning stages of your fluency development journey you might be good at grammar i'm not saying you're not good at grammar you're just beginning to learn english pay attention i'm not saying you are a beginner english learner no you are like in your speaking fluency yeah you are at uh somewhere like beginner between beginner to intermediate level right you're good at grammar you can read in english well but you face problem while speaking fluently so in that scenario what you have to do is you have to consume more content consumption is important right let's take an example of a coffee machine you want coffee you want coffee and you want to drink some good coffee what you have to do is you have to pour some hot water right you have to pour some milk powder you have to pour some coffee powder in that right until and unless you do not feed that milk powder and coffee to the particular machine will it give you a well prepared hot cup of coffee no how is the machine able to create the coffee until and unless it consumes the ingredient that is required to prepare that coffee now i think through this example you are clear about why consumption is very important because until and unless you do not consume good content in english you will not be able to create good content again and hence you will speak english you will do your practice but you will suffer from this particular problem that i am not becoming a good speaker i am speaking english but i want to become that fluent speaker that impeccable speaker that i am not able to become even after so many efforts so remember the proportionates now i am going to tell you what kind of proportions you must keep while consuming and creating so if you are somewhere at the beginning stages of your fluency then you have to consume 60% and create 40% that means consume more than you create because at this particular stage you need to condition your subconscious mind to become fluent in english you need to create some good stuff that you are unable to do so so in order to do that you have to consume good content first this is going to condition your mind you become comfortable in english and then 40% creation that you are doing would give you good results that 40% creation would be quality creation that means when you are speaking after that 60% of consuming the contents you will speak good english you will see some kind of fluency reflecting in your speaking now if you are at an intermediate level what you have to do is you have to do 50 50 50% consumption that is 50% you are going to read you are going to listen and 50% would be your creation speaking and writing remember to keep the speaking part the most important part of creating english i'm not saying writing has to be neglected no 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 not at all but when you are taking up speaking and writing speaking must be given priority to because the first step of becoming fluent in english language is to speak it we want to speak the language that is our priority here right so your focus must be on speaking it while creating the content speak and also throw in the writing tasks somewhere here and now then and there you have to throw in the writing tasks too in between but main focus is on speaking and if you are now approaching a little more on the advanced side like you're comfortable at that intermediate level 
you are at B2 level, for example, around B2 level, definitely consume 40% and create 60%. Start creating more because now you're at a good level where you understand a lot of things. You have developed some speaking skills. Now what you have to do is you have to polish, polish those speaking skills. Now you have developed some speaking skills. Now what we have to do is we have to polish. And in order to do that, let's increase the amount of speaking. That is amount of creation. So the second C would be increased and the first C is going to get decreased a little. So 40% of consuming the content and 60% of creating the content. That is the formula that you have to apply while learning English and while doing your practice tasks in English. It's very important for you. So apply this particular formula of CC, consumption and creation, and see the difference in your fluency level and see the difference in your learning pattern too. The results that you will get after making those efforts. Compare and see for yourself the results are going to be much more improved and better. Believe me. So that's it for today. That was the lesson. Do apply this 2C formula or the CC rule and see the improvement in your fluency. I'm going to meet you once again in a new video. Till then everybody take care and bye.